Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday, December, what is today? The 11th. Oh Lord, where did this year go? Anyway, yesterday I did a quick 18 something minute video um, doing a full face. I didn't do any talking and I got some feedback that I need to talk more. So I have music in the background. I will try to talk some. <clears throat> so today I am going to do my face again. This time I'm gonna to talk to you about the products I'm using. Um, first, let me just say for a second, I have been a Mary Kay user. I've been using their skincare products and their makeup products for over a year now. Anyone who knows me knows that I have had bad acne most of my life, most of my life. Um, like a couple of years before puberty hit through to a year and a half ago, <laughs> a year ago. Um, even a year ago, I was having bad breakouts. Um, even when I used Proactive, my skin never really cleared up. But after a year of using TimeWise, Mary Kay's TimeWise um, Miracle Set, my skin, as you can see, is glowing. I might have a couple of small spots, but I used to break out really bad all through here, under into my neck, all over my forehead, right here, like everywhere, bad breakouts. Um, but again, washing my face in the morning, putting my moisturizer on, and then washing my makeup off at night before I go to bed, consistently for a year, using the Mary Kay TimeWise skincare line. This is where I'm at. Now, it did not take a year to see those results. It took maybe, maybe two months to start seeing results. Um, and with the new TimeWise 3D Miracle Set, those results happen so much faster. So, even if you're not local and you just need a quick skincare consultation, reach out to me because we can definitely book a video consultation where I can talk to you face to face through um, video phone. Most everybody has FaceTime or whatever. We can make it work and I can help you figure out a routine that will work for you. Mary Kay has a 100% satisfaction guarantee, money back. Um, if there's ever a product that you purchase and you're like, mm, not so much, reach out to me because I can take it back from you and I can give you a refund or exchange it for something else. So, um, with that said, um, and the reason I brought up the skincare is because every good face starts with skincare. It's never too early and it's never too late to start taking care of your skin, but you need to take care of your skin. You need to moisturize whether you're oily or dry. Mary Kay has formulas for you, whether you're sensitive, acne prone, um, you want botanicals, you want all natural herbal, we've got everything. And the best part is we do not test on animals. I want you to know that. I don't care what the articles say that you've seen, Mary Kay does not test, test our products on animals. So back to the morning face. Um, so I always start off with my five minute face. You guys have seen my first video was on a five minute face. That consists of Mary Kay CC cream in very light because I am very light. Now the CC cream is only really available in five shades. Why is that? Because it blends in with your natural skin tone. So very light whether it's summertime and I'm tanning or um, wintertime and I'm Casper colored, this is gonna be my color. So there's two different ways that I do this. Sometimes I'll put a couple of pumps on the back of my hand. Today I'm gonna show you the other way which actually kinda looks more like finger painting. So bear with me, I'm doing this of course for comic relief. All I do is I just take little drops, you see that? and I'm just gonna place them in certain places on my face and then I'm gonna use my brush and blend it all out. Again, I know this looks silly, don't really care, because the results are awesome. So, go ahead and laugh it up. Ha 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 ha, I'll laugh with you. All right, because what's a video without fun, right? All right, so that's my CC cream and that's literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine spots on my face. You see that? I know it's a weird angle I have the phone at, but the best I can do right now. So I'm gonna take the Mary Kay liquid foundation brush, and if you look, it's a little differently shaped. 
um, when I saw this, I'm like, I want a liquid foundation brush because I'm used to the ones that are flat bristles, right? This one actually works really well. It also absorbs a lot, so make sure you clean your brushes. Clean your brushes to keep your skin fresh. All right. So I start at the top and work my way kind of around. So I'm just gonna kind of Um, while I'm doing this, let me just let you guys know the music you hear in the background is courtesy of Spotify. No, I am not getting a kickback for this. I should. Um, I am currently listening to the Lo-Fi Beats station on Spotify. Um, I've tried many different streaming music programs, all the trials and what, all the free whatever you can do. Um, and Spotify is really just more of what I need for me. I am a musician. That is my passion, music. Music, makeup, and jewelry. Yeah, I'm low maintenance. <laughs> um, but for me, I do not want to hear the same 12 songs. Re repeat, 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 shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. No. I get bored way too easy. I have what we call music ADD, which means even though I'm listening to my own playlist, I'm probably gonna skip 15 songs before I stop and listen to 30 seconds of a song like, yeah, I love this song, okay, next. Um, so music ADD, Spotify can keep up, Pandora, XM Radio, don't even get me started on XM Radio. Don't even get me started on Sirius. Nope, nope, nope train, nope. All right. My next step is the Mary Kay Perfecting Concealer, which is of course in my shade of, what is it? Light beige, that's the lightest color. You can see that. Um, in yesterday's video, you guys saw me like put a bunch of dots and that's literally all I do. That's way too much, do you see that? Way too much, so just gonna kinda, all right. I do some like Native American markings, South African markings on my eyes, whatever tribal colors <laughs> a little small strip just down my nose couple dots right here and right here because I tend to red right here next to my nose especially in the winter when I'm blowing my nose all day I have one little spot here I have a little spot here uh -huh, uh -huh. so you're probably like why are you doing that right there above your lip I will tell you in a moment Again, with the redding that happens right here, that's why I do that little concealer mustache. Sometimes I'll take my finger and blend it out. If you use your fingers, use your ring fingers. It applies the least amount of pressure and it won't stress or uh, stretch your skin. But you can also use, and this is actually the Mary Kay Eye Smudger brush, but I have a second one just for my concealer. All I do is I just kind of brush it in making sure to cover every place that needs it. Sometimes I'll go over the eye and then I'll kind of take my finger and blend it in. A little over, a little under. Who's making eggs? Over, under, easy, what? All right. I'm just gonna kind of blend things in. Use my finger right here. Making sure, all right. Would you, thank you, okay. Had a stubborn sleepy. <laughs> anyway, back to the music. Um, so I pay the $10 a month for Spotify's um, unlimited account because I hate, I hate commercials. I don't even watch TV anymore. I have not sat down to actually watch television programming in years because I hate commercials. I don't care about the commercials. I don't care about the product you're trying to sell me. I use what I use and that's that. Unless there's some sort of like miracle product built into what you're selling me, I don't really care. <laughs> that's how I really feel about it. You know, not sugarcoating that crap anymore. Um, so yes, Spotify, check it out if you haven't already. It's worth it. Um, 
So we are listening to the lo-fi beats on Spotify, which is awesome. All right, next step is the, some people might stop here because they like the dewy finish. I like more of a matte finish, so I go with the Mary Kay Translucent Loose Powder, and I like it, it's really cool. Um, the top has, I'm gonna try to show you this. The top has like an adjustable, yeah, there you go. And it literally just kind of like pops I can't do it. Not one-handed. It just literally like twists open and then twists shut. So when it's closed, that thing's gonna come out. All right, I had to make sure it was closed. Um, so all I do is I turn the cap upside down, turn it into the cap. Three, sometimes four taps is all it really takes. And it's not a heavy tap, it's just a little light thumb tap. Um, so that's kind of what I end up with. Translucent loose powder. And I just kind of generously apply. Really not too light. You want to like work it in, but at the same time, you don't want to like pound it into your skin. Well, it's not good. So just a little of this. And you know, even when I used Bare Minerals products, my skin still wasn't very happy. Like I was using Proactive to clean my skin. I was using Bare Minerals makeup and even then, my skin was like, what the heck are you doing to me? All right, super easy, super quick. And now I don't look so oily, which is fine, because I am an oily skin type. All right, so that's done. We're done with those, we're done with these. So the next thing I normally do is my eyebrows. Before I get started on that, I need to show you the tools I use. The eyebrow spoolie, which a little dirty, I need to clean that, also has a angled brush at the end. You kind of see that? All right, so I use this for my eyebrows, and then I clean this and use this to do my eyeliner. Um, and I'll show you that here at the end, because I am gonna do some eyeliner today. So here's how I start, is I just kind of Spool through my brows, get all those little eyebrow hairs in place, get my hairs done. All right. And then I'm gonna take, excuse me, <clears throat> the Chroma Fusion palette, which I absolutely adore. And the color I use for my eyebrows right now is this color right here, which is Hot Fudge. Um, it's the lightest of the brown without going red and that mahogany is a little, I used the mahogany before for my eyebrows and it was just way too red. It didn't look right. So I'm using hot fudge and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm literally just a couple of taps, that's all you need. And then just, I start from the inside and just gently kind of swipe through my brows. I just wanna add a little color so that they don't seem so washed out. And in doing so, I feel like it helps balance and define certain portions of my face. So, see? That looks much better than that. Compare. See? All right. Back to world hunger. I see some people, and I'm not gonna name any names, but I do see some people that use all of the eyebrow products and their eyebrows basically look drawn in. And honestly, it reminds me of like an old, really old, no sound cartoon where you see the ladies like literally draw on their, it just doesn't look right, guys. I mean, to each their own. Whatever you like to do, you rock that boo-boo, but nope. For me personally, it just looks too much. And then I'm thinking, you get up close to them and you look and you're like, all right, your eyebrow hairs are here, your, eye sh your eyebrows are out to here. Like, that's not real. Um, embrace who you are, guys. That's really what it comes down to. Yes, I use makeup, but I use it to enhance my best features, which are unfortunate, well, 
not unfortunately, but which are my eyes. My eyes are my best feature on my face, so I really do everything in my power to make those pop. Um, so, do whatever works best for you. I'm not knocking any specific style or whatever. I want you to embrace who you are. I want you to be happy with what you see when you look in the mirror, who you see when you look in the mirror. Um, that's ultimately what I want for everybody. All right, so now I'm gonna do some blush. Now, you'll see that I have three different shades of blush, and I do blend them depending on the day, depending on what look I'm going for. Today, I just wanna keep it subtle, so I'm gonna go with this lighter color and just give just a little bit. Again, it's about the eyes today. I'm doing the eyes. Whoa, that is way too much blush. Okay. Had the whole dat gum palette of blush on there, see? That's, that's a little more than what I need, but I'm just gonna kind of pat that across. I, I, I think it's hilarious to see, is my own personal opinion, to see people smudge their blush across it. No, you don't have to. You just tap it right into place. And yes, I am kind of making like a little pucker face to get my cheekbones. I wanna make sure that that's where the blush lands, so. Either smile, do a pucker, whatever it takes. Eh, just a little bit of, little hint of color. All right, <clears throat> next up, let's work on those eyes. I know this video is gonna definitely be longer than yesterday's video, but that's okay, I has the time. I'm gonna go with a candlelight, which is a very light, you can see that. Very light, shimmery, peachy color right here. Let's see if I can get that close. There you go. This one right here. Okay. I like it for the inside crease. It really brightens things up. Look. Just kind of sweep that across from the inside to the middle. In fact, actually, we're gonna sweep this all over the lid because I'm doing something a little different. I'm not doing a smoky eye today. Sweep this all the way across. Yesterday I did a smoky eye using some um, browns. Well, it was more of this, a pink color and a little bit of a purple, but it, it was a really nice smoky, it looked good. And today I'm gonna show you guys a little something else that my friend Meredith shared with me that a little something she taught me and she's full of all kinds of useful information she's also the reason that I'm addicted to fake lashes which I don't show you on my videos but I do wear on occasion um, can I get a what what for Ardell just saying all right so now that I have that on you can see there's the shimmer right there I'm actually gonna go in above the crease right there with a brownish color. In fact, I'll probably use the hot fudge that I used in my brows to kind of tie in the colors. So I'm just gonna take, literally, two taps. You don't even need that much. And you see how it's already there? It kind of looks, it looks weird right now, but when you blend it in, it'll look better. And I literally just kind of have this like this because I want the color up, not down. Okay. And you noticed I turned the brush around now because now I want to blend it up into here. Kind of get that color a little spread out. And see? Just a nice little shadow. It's gonna look good. I'm right-handed, so I won't lie. Sometimes it's a little difficult to get the left eye just in the right place. I get everything in the right place, so sometimes I come back to the left eye like to even things out, make it look right, but. No, I haven't learned how to do these things with my left hand, which is fine. Everything works. <laughs> All right. And 
that was my alarm telling me I need to leave in like 10 minutes. Do you see me rushing? Mm -mm. Girl, gotta get her face on first. Then I will people. I've had my coffee, doing my makeup, then I will people. <laughs> Anyways, I'm peopling right now, aren't I? All right, so you see, just got a little, let's define this one a little bit more. There we go, see? I always go in a little bit more. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna come in over the top with biscotti. Very, very light, beige, flat color, no sparkle at all. Um, and I'm actually gonna sweep above. What this does is this helps kind of clean that area up, helps make it look a little bit more blended. Um, I just like it. Also being that it's the lightest shade in the palette without sparkle um, is just a really good thing. It's good to have that. And sometimes I have to clean up this corner because again, I'm a righty trying to do a left eye over here without t boz or Chile. And if you got that, then you're old like me. Thank you. I'm not alone. All right. So now I take the eye smudger brush, which this is not the one I use for my concealer. This is the actual one I use on my eyes. And I'm gonna take that hot fudge again, literally just like one little tap of it. Just ever so slightly on the bottom outer corner of the eye. Just ever so much. All right. I think that's all I need for now in there. All right, so now it's time for the eyeliner. And remember I said I use this brush. Um, I keep a hand towel down on my table when I'm doing this and I literally just kind of like brush it back and forth on the hand towel and that helps take the powder, um, that takes helps clean the brush. We'll just say that. It takes whatever's in the brush and puts it on the towel and then I have a clean brush. So here's what I do with the eyeliner. Now this is the Mary Kay, obviously, eyeliner. And what I like about this is that there is a sharpener built into the lid. And I've shown this to you guys before. And it's not a wood pencil. It is an adjustable pencil. Um, with this, if you were to apply it directly, it's really, really liberal. <laughs> and I don't mean that's a bad thing. If you want raccoon eyes, do it. But I don't want raccoon eyes. Um, I want to look my age um, and put together. So all I do is I literally just take, oh, two, 22 minutes already, the video, just a little bit. And just starting from the outer corner, I just kind of like smudge it right through. I don't want a lot, I just want enough to kind of like define the eye. There, see? No eyeliner, eyeliner. So now I'm gonna do just a little bit more and go in for that other eye. I have certain OCDs that I have actually nurtured in myself and when things aren't even, sometimes it bothers me. Sometimes, not always. Sometimes I'm like, nah, I don't care. It's good enough. I made effort, dagnab it. All right, <clears throat> eyeliner is done. Now what I do, to, just to kind of like enhance it a little bit, define it, is I'm gonna go back through my palette and right here, 
my favorite color, Onyx. And I'm literally just gonna tap the brush on it like twice. And just gently kind of sweep that on top of where I put the liner. The liner is a gel. So what this is doing is this is gonna help set, it helps set the gel and it helps define the color a little bit more. Um, and because the eyeliner is gel, it's gonna hold this powder a little bit better than if I were just putting the, the eyeshadow on my eyes. And then I'm just gonna kind of sweep through this bottom corner again. I'm using Onyx this time. And a little bit. There we go. There we go. All right. Almost done, guys. Almost done. I am officially done with my palette, which, oh, but smudgy fingers. Um, the palette, the compact itself, is separate. Each little eye well is eight dollars, and the the blushes are twelve. Everything is magnetic, so this, every little piece was bought separately and put together by me. The, the compact is not available as seen here, but we can custom build for you with your blush colors. Uh, we have contour colors, we have highlighters, um, so we can definitely create a custom face in this for you. Just reach out to me and just know that it may be a little bit more than you're expecting it to be, but it's going to be worth it promise. All right, last step. I'm using the Mary Kay Lash Love Lengthening Mascara. Say that five times fast. Let's not say we did. Right there. The brush has like a little bit of like a curve to it, so I kind of use that to my advantage sometimes, um, especially on the inside. Oh, no stabbing yourself in the eye. That is not conducive to driving. And turn it around. Now normally with this face, if I were doing more of like a dressed up day at work, like not wearing jeans, and not wearing this shirt that's forever old. I might actually throw fake lashes on um, because it definitely helps open up the eyes and it looks so good with this. But I don't have the time for fake lashes this morning. And since they're not Mary Kay, Mary Kay does not sell false lashes or lash glue. They, are, they do not have a place in this video. Maybe one day I'll do a video of just the fake lashes and show you guys how that goes. We'll see. So while I'm finishing this up, I do want to say that if you're enjoying this video, if you have seen my other videos, or if you would like to see more, you can do a couple things. You can find me on Facebook. My Mary Kay by Crystal Sky page is at Crystal Sky Mary Kay. Um, so search me there on Facebook. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel um, so that you do not miss the next ones. Actually, I think... I need a little more on my right lash. A little more. I was gonna say, there's no such thing as too much, but with mascara, there's such a thing as too much. Spider lashes, is no tarantula lashes. Okay, guys, um, I'm going with a uncovered lip today. So here we go. This is the completed look. It has been 29 minutes since I started this video, and I know I did some rambling about skincare earlier, so we can say this is a 30 minute face. There you go. If I were to do lips, it would be 30 minutes. With that said, again, uh, find me on Facebook at Crystal Sky Mary Kay. Um, you can like that page, and you'll be able to see any promotions that I'm doing for Mary Kay, any events I'm going to. Um, you can reach out to me and send me a message there if you would like to schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation, whether it's in person here at my house, or if it's in video if you are not in the southeastern Connecticut, Rhode Island area. Um, if you are in the southeastern Connecticut, Rhode Island area, I can come to you. Um, 
So reach out to me. We can do some things. Also, make sure you subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel and share this video out with your friends. Tag people. It's okay if you got a laugh out of me. I'm here for comic relief like Jar Jar Binks. Um, hope you guys have a fantastic Tuesday and make it a beautiful day.